Everything is bust down. Everything with the screws. Got the hole interfering. Three hit. That is the new CBO fender. This was the wrong one because he had these with the original Harley fender. I knew this. That is so hard. That is so dope to me. I don't even understand. It's looking good. So we finally got the leg warmers back from Antonio. We got some brand new Fosgate speaker covers for the leg warmers. For yes sir, man, this thing look way better. What up YouTube man, we back out here in LA, man. I know we had a video up in a while, but I need y'all to understand, man, we still working every day. A lot of people been reaching out to me, man, through like Instagram, text messages, all type of stuff. Like, are you okay? What's going on? We missed the videos. Y'all gotta understand, I miss all of it. I miss reach, reaching out, linking up, networking with everybody. But sometimes we go through stuff in life, we gotta just handle it, you feel me? So every day we've been dealing with that, getting stuff done, working on these bikes, still keeping everything in motion, getting to the next level. But y'all gotta realize, I'm trying to get everything else back to what I need. Like I got my website coming, a whole new one. I got a gang of new merch coming, a gang of new stuff. Like I have some new logos and all of that. A lot of people didn't reach out to me and I appreciate it because I'm applying Everything that you send me, everything is about to go to work. I promise y'all. But please understand, we are making it happen with the support of y'all and everybody else. I'm telling y'all, we still about to have another giveaway coming, man. Y'all don't even understand. I'm just getting my bikes ready and everything else. So everything could make sense when it's all back together. But y'all got to really understand and realize, man, y'all make this happen. Y'all do this and keep me amped up. Like literally, that's the whole reason why I get up and go for it every single day because I know how I started from nothing out here, literally in this backyard and we back out here working again. So you already know what time it is, man. We're gonna keep it going, especially when we here, man. We get the best out of us every time because we in LA, every shop is about five, 10 minutes away. And then it's so much easier to me being hours away, going back and forth, spending hours and time, gas and all that. Plus I'll be out with my son every day now. So it's even better. But anyway, man, we about to have it coming. I'm telling y'all, just please stay tuned. I appreciate all the support from everybody, man. I know it's been crazy with just me being all over the place, but we finally got a winner for our game time giveaway too. Shout out to my guy in Palmdale, California. I cannot remember his name right now, but um, everything on the live is still uploaded on YouTube right now. You can go and check it out if you was able, if you missed it. But like I said, we have another one coming, man. Just stay tuned. We got everything coming on the way sooner than later, man. We just getting everything ready. So when it all go down, it's gonna all make a lot more sense and it's gonna all get straight finished out the way it should. But anyway, we about to get to it, man. We got the green bike coming breaking it down, getting everything tore back apart, getting it all put back together throughout the video. So y'all gonna see it live here first. We're not 100% done, but I'm gonna update y'all since y'all haven't seen it on here in a while, because a lot of people have been asking me about it. And y'all gonna see my guy Andy on here sliding real soon, but please understand, everything gotta be right, man, when you tear these bikes apart down to the frame, especially with me. I don't want nobody coming after me, and I know how it is, so I be wanting everything to be right top to bottom, man. So please understand, we working, we getting to it, we sliding and hiding. I appreciate the support from everybody. I'm telling y'all, we still getting to it every single day. I'm telling y'all, we working. But anyway, we slide, man. Yes, sir, man. We back at it. We out here working on a green bike. About to get this thing finished up. We not even finished up. We about to basically get these last parts took apart. We got everything back in the shop, a few different pieces. So stay tuned. We'll have everything coming. But for the most part, as y'all can see, we got the whole complete front end taken off. We had took this off because this bracket right here isn't straight. So I got another brand new one from Harley. I'm about to go ahead and put on here. Besides that, I got a few more of the pieces like the RLNS uh, gas lid and the, that one little middle piece for the console. And then um, we're about to get this wheel off, get this wheel balanced. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more fluid into the forks. But um, we just put the new kickstand on here. That thing looked good with the washers. Now see, honestly, I wanted to get the nails painted or powder coated, but I'd rather leave it black due to how you gotta kick these down than having like chips or flakes or anything. But this thing definitely looked good and amazing with all the other Arlen Nest parts and everything up on here. So stay tuned for that, man. This thing is about to come together. But um, like I said, man, we got everything took apart. Now I'm getting a million questions about this back wheel situation. My guy have paid for this whole wheel set months ago, almost over a year ago, I feel like. But um, he has it paid for. He literally is just waiting to get it from the people he bought it through. So it's not really on him. He's been doing everything to get that wheel. So he's just being real patient with them at this point. But overall, it's going to come together. We still got the bags and everything wrapped in plastic down there. And then uh, he have the original CVO fender in the paint shop right now that we're about to go ahead and put on here. So today, right now, I'm about to basically take off this back fender and then um, take apart the front end. And then we're going to get it off of here and get it on a smaller jack. But like I said, man, we got everything on the way. I've been having a lot of stuff going on, but I ain't going to lie to y'all. We've been getting a lot of work done. So 
stay tuned man we about to get this thing on the way he also went and added some of these covers got some more washers and allens then he added some more levers it's crazy because he ordered the uh chrome arlen s ones they were a little bit different but they were not going right with this piece up here i was trying to mess with it but i don't want to drill or like make nothing too fabricated so i'm like you know what let's find some more from harley like he got them from harley it made it count but um overall this thing definitely looking good got a lot of stuff on here but that this thing back complete sliding real soon yes yeah, sir man we got everything bust down everything with the screws we got this thing tore all the way apart we have to put a new one of these brackets we got the hole interfering re-hit i just want a few things touched up on the corners from bolting and screwing it up but y'all know me we have to just redo everything on top got this thing looking good so we got the bags right here wrapped up in plastic. This, the old fender, that is the new CVO fender. This was the wrong one because he had these with the original Harley fender, but the CVO one is different because it has the whole setup but everything right there. So we got that to wrap around the other back piece. We're about to get all this back going. So stay tuned, man. Let's see what time this thing coming together. We got the whole front end looking good. Almost matching the tray, man. But yeah, this thing looking good with the green. Everything getting wired back up. New CVL fender we about to get on right now. We got the whole front end looking back good. Got the fresh insides. See, there was certain little things on the edges that was irritating me, so we have to come new. It's looking good though, man. Whole thing bust down. Coming back together. We got the rest of the parts right here. We finished getting together. Swapping out this part with the new one. And we got the whole front end back bolted up looking good. Now, we got the bag still wrapped in plastic. We got the whole CBO fender looking original as it should. It's not like the one that was on there before with the holes and all that. This is the correct one, so it's gonna be flush with that license plate. And we did get a lot of other stuff by surprise. So he got this nice headlight. I never knew what this headlight was capable of. So let me hit the blinkers for y'all. Got the fuel off. Boom. Check this out, y'all. I never knew this. That is so hard. That is so dope to me. I don't even understand. So, yeah. I just made my day right there. And we got the joints back here from yellow to red. Like this bike. This thing is super dope. But yeah, man. We got it going. Y'all see what time it is, man. This thing looking good. We almost there, man. screws and washers for the uh, green bike yes sir we only got some more green washers we only got, got, got a gang of chrome now. allens cool. so it's finally time to fill in them screws down here 
We're about to swap out these screws up there, put the screws in there. And then we're gonna have some more on the other side, but we're getting to it, man. Stay tuned, I'm about to get the crash bar on there. We got that thing fresh at the powder coat shop, as y'all can see. So we're about to assemble these parts right here. Blinker, brackets, the uh, hole, everything. These are for the um, crash bar pegs. And then we got the actual Arlenis pegs we're installing today. So about to get to it. Here, these are all the screws we took off. We got these joints down there looking good. Got the transmission looking good. We even went ahead and got up here on the tour pack area for the luggage rack. Then we got the back of the seat. Got these ones over here juiced up. Now we're about to get that crash bar installed. It's crazy. We didn't got so much stuff done. I never even made my video for y'all. So look. We finally got our powder coated crash bar on here with our actual Arlenis kickstands. We put the washers. I gotta get a longer screw though, just so I can put the nut back there. So we're gonna take these out and get some longer screws. But uh, we got all that up in there. The bottom looking good down there. You got that claw kickstand shining. So um, we went ahead and put all these last pieces on, added a gang of washers on the hardware back here. We got all that juiced up looking good. Got the seat looking good then what else we got we got down here we finally got that heat shield fresh out of there yes sir man we got these things looking good so right now next we gotta really get that tour pack back on there and then we about to put the leg warmers we just finally got from antonio That motherfucker look good, man. So we finally got the leg warmers back from Antonio. Got these things looking good. I'm about to go ahead and install it on this drone right here. Stay tuned, man. Yes, sir. Next day, we got the joints. We're about to go ahead and get these leg warmers on here. Get this thing fully bolted on this side and the other. Got everything laid out. About to assemble them. Get them up on there. We're gonna finish adding everything else so y'all gonna see everything come together real soon, man. Real soon. But yeah, we're about to get to it bright and early. We then finally got one side complete right here looking good. I got the floorboard off with that bracket. We're gonna put everything back together. But as y'all can see, we got this thing looking good. I like the Oxford Foss Gate speaker cover. That thing look juiced up. Just like that one up here. But um, they coming together. We're about to finish getting this side and then we'll be on our way. Yes, yeah, sir, man, this thing look way better. I left the floorboard off because I got um, I got one more boat I got to get in that top screw up there. I'm gonna go to Harley and get a brand new one. I don't like going back and forth with them once they get the not trying to go on. I didn't have too much experience, so we ain't dealing with that right now. But anyway, we got the leg warmers on here looking good. I'm honestly not a big fan of leg warmers and road glides, but my boy is looking good with all the pieces. I'm glad he got these on here, matching with these. Now we gotta just get some real beat up on this thing, but um, it's coming together, man. We are really closer than close. It's just the last few pieces, like the uh, exhaust screw, and then um, I gotta switch the tour pack seat, get that one up on here, and then we got some small stuff, but uh, we coming up, man. We're about to be sliding, not hiding, and then I gotta get this piece from Harley for the Arlen S one. We got powder coated. Then we're gonna put the outer fan on there with our blinkers and everything else. So we coming. But yeah, man, we still got our fresh windshield. We're gonna put back on there with the outer fan. We got our Arlen S bezel. And then like I said, we got this brand new piece that came in the mail that goes on the top. Let me lay it out for y'all real fast. Fresh, black, ready to go, man. So we're about to have everything coming together this week, man. Just stay tuned. We working though. But yeah, man, if y'all need anything worked on or done, hit your boy up. Like I said, man, I'll pull up on you. You don't got to come to me. I will come to you wherever you at. You need anything big to small, man, anything installed. If you want to even tear your whole bike apart, I got to realize I don't have to do your full build. If you want to come to me and just have me come to you and tear everything down and put everything in bags and labels where everything go and you want to have your boy or whoever else finish the job, that's perfectly fine with me. So please reach out to me, man. Built by We about to get it in. Keep sliding, man.